How do you do folks and welcome to another bullet journal video. For this video we'll be doing the February month uh, spread. So the sub theme for this month is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them as well as Curved Magical Creatures so it's a crossover of those two themes. To start off with I'm doing a Rubius Hagrid quote that's basically promoting um, like loving who you are and not um, trying to live up to everyone else's expectations. So I thought that was a really nice uh, quote to use for this month. Uh, and at the bottom I am painting a watercolour painting of um, Hagrid's uh, umbrella wand as a decorative piece. So for the title page, I drew, um, I did the month title in like gold coin because I decided to draw the Niffler on the front and I and it attracted to like gold and luxury items. So I thought having the title drawn into coins for each lover was kind of cool. So I just used um, yellow watercolour paint for that and then I used a fine liner to write in each letter. I can't quite remember where I got like the style of font from. It may be like either Curve Magical Creatures book or uh, no, actually I think it's from the Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them book that you can actually buy in the bookshop. Not the script book but like the text book. Um, so yeah, that's where I got the title font from, I just remembered. So, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I don't like a lot of colour. I like to keep things fairly simple. Uh, so with the Niffler, I just did it in a fine liner, in a black fine liner. I didn't add any colour. Um, yeah, and in order to add a little bit of like shadow detail, I did like vintage dippling which is a style of um, like dot and line drawing. So after I did that I moved on to the February month at a glance page. I just kept it simple and drew new suitcase home um, as like the border for the um, dates in February. Um, again, keeping it simple, black and white. Uh, also because like I used like the highlighting on this page, like I used the zebra mind liners, I just want that to be the only colour just so that they can stand out and also it doesn't become too colourful because I'm not really a fan of things that are really colourful. And once again, the key um, remains the same as January and also the year at a glance spread. So I don't change the key or the colour of the key. However, since this video, I have added another key just called Other because I found that I was um, had to mark down certain things that didn't really fall under one of the categories, so I just said Other. So it's like a miscellaneous category. But yeah, but there's enough space there for me to add some more like categories if I need to. And I keep referring back to the previous month just to figure out what colour each one was because I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head. <coughs> so next up we have the budget page and same as last time, I'm just tracking how much I earn on certain dates. Um, what do I need? What do I need or want? to spend it on and how much money do I need to put aside for any like subscriptions I have or upcoming payments I need to pay. So yeah, that's what the budget page is for. Um, with the budget page, I just drew the dragon statue that's on Gringot, um, which I thought was relevant because it's still an animal and you actually get to see the dragon in part one of the Deathly Hallows movie. So. Um, yeah, I thought that was quite relevant for this page. Again, keeping everything just black and white and simple, I just went over the dragon in a fine liner.
So next up we have once again the tattoo tracker page. So as I mentioned in my previous video, this page may not end up getting filled out. It's just like it's there in case I do actually manage to put some money aside for tattoos. Uh, for this one, I was trying to think of like what permanent or what type of hard to get rid of object can I draw that's relevant to the theme and the idea of tattoos. And I drew that like, um, I don't know what it's called, but that thing in Fantastic Beast where it's like the blood promise that Dumbledore makes with um, Grindelwald. And I drew that and basically I'm, I will colour like the round bit in the middle in as I save up the whatever amount I wrote on the side. So in terms of like the drawing of this, like it probably it's not really entirely accurate. Some of the shapes I just as long as you can tell what it is, I'm fine. So some of the shape is not perfect. Like the details I'm drawing now going over here. But I think you still get the point of what it's meant to be, so I'm okay with that. So after I've done that, we move over. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We move over to the mood tracker page. Uh, for mood tracker, I actually decided to draw um, a bunch of corn pixies. And this one, unlike the previous mood tracker, it's not multiple colours. It's multiple shades of blue. So experimenting with light and dark relating to certain moods rather than the colours themselves. So I'm really curious to see how this one looks once I finish it. The moods, however, are exactly the same as January's mood, so I don't change the actual mood themselves, just the colours and um, obviously what the tracker page looks like. And some of these Cornish pictures, unfortunately, I couldn't really find like an image reference for. So some of these are actually just drawn off the top of my head, like what I think they look like um, in certain positions. So yeah. So I went over all um, 30, or I don't know how many I drew, 30 or 31. Wait, no, this is February. So it's 20 something. Um, Cornish pictures, I drew over them and then I wrote um, a number next to them so I know which one to colour in for what day. So now that we've done that, we move over to the Habit Tracker and Wiccan Tracker page. The habit for both pages remain the same, it's just the layout that's slightly different. With this one, I decided to keep it um, like much more less colourful than the previous one. So the previous one, I drew a brown snake on one side and a Slytherin scarf on the other side. I liked it, but it wasn't quite the look that I wanted. So for this one, you'll see once I've start doing the rest of it that I actually just do two images in a style of like basic vintage stippling or I don't even know if I did like the stippling part it may have just been an outline we'll see that in a moment um but yeah so it's it's much more minimalist looking than the previous one but still has enough detail in it for my liking
So now we're up to what page is this? Oh, the playlist page. Oh, yes. So I actually lost the footage for this page. So I do apologize that it didn't. I didn't end up um filming the whole thing. But basically, if you saw my previous video, it's exactly the same thing, and it's always going to be the same layout. I don't know if I coloured in the vinyl for the previous one. I may have. I mean, it's of no consequence. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, I do apologise for that, but it's no different to what I previously did. So, for the fun page, as I mentioned before, the fun page is just a random page that relevant to the theme. Um, so, for this one, I wrote like the information about the Niffler um, which you can find in the book that I mentioned earlier where it's like the Fantastic Beast textbook not the script book but the textbook that you can actually buy at your bookstores so and I assume they're available in pretty much whatever country has Harry Potter books so but yeah so you can find the information in there or online of course so I kept the sketch pretty simple and yeah I, there we go. So I referred to the book as I was writing out pretty much word for word what was written in the book. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I must have lost the footage for that one as well because I didn't film all of it. So apologies again. You'll see what each page looks like at the end anyway because I do do a flip through. But yeah, sorry about that. Like, because I was filming on my phone and on my SLR camera, it was very difficult to keep track of each one. Uh, so now I'm doing the first weekly spread for February, which is basically just, I believe I just do Sunday and, or Saturday and Sunday, because that's like the first sort of page that I need to do, but that's fine. So I just do the suitcase on this one, and the water tracker, the mugs, are the ones that Tina has when she delivered the hot cocoa to Jacob and Newt. So that's what I decided to use for my water tracker, is that particular mug. So again, relevant to the theme. I drew the note section in the middle, just because otherwise I would have such a large amount of space. Um, and I'm not really doing too much in February. I may actually have an exhibition in February, but apart from that, like it's basically just me sitting in the gallery. So I'm not actually working on anything. So I don't need a lot of space for information. And yeah, keeping it simple with no colour. So yeah. So that concludes the February setup. So we're just going to do a flip through now. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the bullet journal video. If there's anything you'd like to see or have any questions, I'm happy to answer them and maybe even include them in future videos, whatever they may. Oh, excuse me, whatever they may be. So I'm just going to fill in the content page now for February. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and of course subscribe to it. Make sure you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I'll see you guys again for um, the next video. So yeah, blessed be folks.